is going on you guys so today we're driving a 2000 BMW 328i and I'm going to try to be as unbiased as possible in this review so so with that let's get to it so this is a car that was produced between the years 1998 and 2006 there were five different body styles of the car. We have the coupe, the sedan, the estate, the convertible, and the uncommon hatchback. We had a range of engine options with petrol engines, diesel engines, and we saw a range of engines between 1.8 liters that produced a little over 100 horsepower to the 3.2 inline six, which was found in the M3, which put out 330, 340 horsepower. But then there's also the V8, which was found in the M3 GTR. So the two-door and the four-door variants of the car may actually look very similar, but they're completely different. No two panels between these body styles are actually shared. So you might think, well, why would BMW spend tens of millions of dollars on research and development on making the coupe and the convertible completely different from the sedan and the estate? Well, that's because instead of just taking off two doors, the sedan, and say, well, here we go, we have a convertible, they wanted to make sure the car was as balanced as possible, as poised as possible. They wanted to make sure that they could maintain that even 50-50 weight distribution. So, as a result, the coupe is a little bit longer, a little bit wider, and a little bit lower than the sedan, which makes it just as dynamic as the sedan in its own way. Now, BMW's main goals with the E46 when they were designing it was to create a car that was lighter, create a car that was more aerodynamic, and to increase the car's overall aggressive stance. And they've pretty much accomplished all three of these things. Now, initially, they were disappointed that the car's overall roofline was a lot higher, but if you ask any enthusiast today, they would say that the E46 is substantially better than the E36. Now, this car is powered by a 2.8 liter straight six, which puts out 193 brake horsepower and 207 pound-feet of torque at about 3,500 RPM. Now, that doesn't really seem like a lot by today's standards, but at the time, it was just adequate for this car, especially when it only weighs about 3,200 pounds. The engines in these cars are the strong points, so we have a 2.8 liter inline six in this car, and that equivalates to most of its torque happening at about 3,500 RPM. So this car has a decent amount of kickback for the power that it produces, but at the same time, it's refined in such a way that the power delivery is so smooth, and it's, it's, it provides a very satisfying driving experience, and that goes great when you couple the handling characteristics of the car. The car is very well poised, and it can handle around corners very well, and now you wonder how a car like this handles so well. Well, that's because of BMW's heritage in motorsports, BMW M. They've won numerous awards throughout all of their years since they were established back in 72, and they figured that they might as well carry those characteristics into their street cars. Magazines have praised the 3 Series for its superior characteristics as far as handling. Because of the 3 Series superior handling, it allows other competitors such as Mercedes and Audi and Lexus and Acura to look at BMW and look at the 3 Series as the benchmark, as the car that sets the standards for them to base their cars off of and compete with. Magazines have put the 3 Series in tests such as the Slalom and they pretty much compared this car with the Lexus IS300, the Mercedes C-Class W203, the Audi B5 A4, I believe it is, and the verdict is pretty much that the 3 Series outshines all of the other competitors. The way this car handles corners is just sublime because there isn't that much body roll and the car just feels planted and you feel like you have control of the car throughout every single bit of the turn. And there's just a satisfying feel to it when you're in the apex of the turn. Now, as far as powertrain, we got a couple options here. We have the five-speed automatic transmission, the five-speed manual transmission, and on cars that were equipped with the ZHP performance package, we even got a six-speed manual, which came right out of the E46 M3. Throughout the E46 3 Series lifecycle, we saw a bunch of options, and one of the more prevalent ones are the ZHP performance package. What this did was, this increased the power output from 225 horsepower to 235. We got 10 spoke double split 18 inch wheels. We got MTEC 2 front and rear bumpers. We also got a more refined suspension. We got optional Alcantara steering wheel and seats. As far as exterior styling, I would say that this car has aged pretty well. Um, 
this is a car that was designed back in 95 so keep in mind it is a 22 year old design but when you ask most people they wouldn't say it looks that old because the way it's aged it's aged so gracefully and and it just continues to turn heads especially when you run across a clean example the interior ergonomics of this car are very good everything is oriented for the driver everything is exactly where you'd expect it to be you have your light control module here on the left you have your radio your hvac right here in the center facing the driver the buttons down here by the shifter are exactly where you'd expect them the door switches lock switch everything is exactly just right and it was designed with the driver in mind and at the end of the day this is a sports sedan so they want to ensure that the driver is the number one priority at all times when they were designing this car I just love the way this car goes around turns it's so poised it's extremely balanced it's such a smooth experience and there's nothing like the satisfaction that you get with the smoothness of the engine coupled with the way the car just hangs around turns and it just offers such a pleasant driving experience that it offers a complete package that it really shines as a car as far as a sports sedan. If I could describe this car in one or two words it would be well rounded and the reason I say that is because this is a car that sets the standard in the sports sedan world. It's the car that rivals look up to and try to compete against. It's the car that car and driver named 10 best since 1992 and you know even to this day it still holds that threshold because all the other competitors look to BMW and they try to base their cars off of this and they try to develop their cars to be as functional and as sporty as the 3 Series. Well guys I hope you enjoyed this review on the 2000 BMW 3 Series the E46 I'm going to be doing a lot more car reviews, so do check out the channel. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you very much, and take care.